The image that you are seeing behind me is of the legendary and iconic typeface by the name of Wingdings. Now, I posit that Wingdings is actually almost a spiritual successor to the emoji. And Vox has developed and done some research and really published an interesting deep dive into the history of the Wingdings font. So let's talk about the weirdness of Wingdings. Now, Wingdings was created by a legendary typeface company. They also developed the font called Lucida. Okay, they're called Bigelow and Holmes. They're still around, legendary design studio. But the interesting thing about it is how it was created. So you may remember this back in the day with older computers, it was actually quite difficult to copy and paste images into a text document. Because things were often stored on floppy disks which, ha which had a laughable amount of space on them, it was very important for them to develop some kind of software where you could put in an image without using any additional space. And that is how the font was born. So there was a workaround so people could have high quality scalable images that didn't clog up their soft drive. So Charles Bigelow and Chris Holmes developed the font Lucida and they were at the vanguard of digital type. But to be complete, their font needed complementary characters that worked well with the litters. So as a result of using Lucida, they came up with three fonts, Lucida Icons, Lucida Arrows, and Lucida Stars. Now, how they turned into Wingdings, Microsoft Windows didn't really have a lot of space when it shipped. They didn't have a lot of room for fonts, but they decided that they would take those three fonts and combine them into what we now know as Wingdings. So that is a common, uh, like a, a combination of the words Windows and Dingbats. Now Dingbats, if you know anything about type history and how the print press used to work, Dingbats were these kind of floral adornments and things that typesetters could use in order to decorate their pages. So they combined those two, Windows and Dingbats, to come up with the name. Now. Since its inception, it's been very popular, but people have been amazed, amused, and occasionally confused by it. Now, Wingdings has been the subject of many conspiracy theories, as any popular interesting internet thing is. So for instance, people uh, said that it apparently contained an anti-Semitic message against New York City um, because when you typed in NYC, a skull, the Star of David, and a thumbs up appeared. Now, of course, this is not the case. It's just a random sum of letters. And what's interesting about it is the people who created this never could have imagined in a thousand years that anyone would try to type a word for it because they always thought that they were just standalone symbols like the ones you see behind me. So the lasting impact of the Wingdings font is it is in some ways the spiritual successor to the emoji. Now that we have our emojis, we are adorning it in the same way, but we have a little bit more color. So pretty interesting stuff. The Wingding and all of these smiley faces, thumbs up, are being used today as emojis, and it all started with a dingbat. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back after the break. Don't go anywhere.